a collection of gruesome posters at the Bentley Historical Library on North Campus document the old-school ritual of rush, which wasn't today's sedate round of Greek sociables, but semi-violent warfare among groups of students. First, it was between lits and laws and medics, and then increasingly between freshmen and sophomores. Rush ruled from the Civil War to World War I, usually on Black Friday in early October. Here are 10 samples from the collection. In 1903, one Rush artist placed U of M's old library and university hall in the eye sockets of a skull. In the background, thugs gather for battle under the eyes of a professorial owl. Here, an artist of the glorious class of 1908 charges the unspeakable offscourings of the detestable genus freshman with various campus crimes. The poster bears the scribbled autograph of J. Fred Lawton, who was co-composer of the fight song Varsity. Here, a crazy-eyed sophomore giant of 1907 clutches a terrified freshman. The poster gives rules for Black Friday, including don't fuss the co-eds and don't spend anything but your time at Ipsy. Not to be intimidated, the entering freshman of 1907 warned the slimy, sulking scullions of 1910 of plans to purge our campus of the heterogeneous rabble of the sophomore class during the Black Friday melee on Medic Green, which was an open space on the east side of the Diag. Here, a satanic sophomore roasts a hapless freshman over a handy pit of fire. This poster shows severed heads on spikes, the promised fate of the sordid, groveling pests of the freshman class that entered Michigan in 1908. A dose of anti-Irish venom flavors this screed against the entering class of 1910, who were supposedly denizens of the slums of bog and fen. This warning gives a catalog of old campus traditions. The wearing of freshman caps, the popularity of Joes of the Orient, the campus chimes, the senior benches, the fashion of pipe smoking, and more. Here, a Macbethian stew is brewed by a coven of U of M witches, including Dent, Law, and Lit. But what was Macy? If you know, let us know in the comments. U of M President Harry Burns Hutchins considered interclass rush an embarrassment, and in the era of World War I, he gradually damped it down. It rose again a decade later, but soon receded for good, like other campus traditions, a victim of the Great Depression.